Hey, it's Kaylee. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today we are going to be building behind my head a kelp farm, a kelp pan kelp farm that's actually pretty easy to make. It's just spamming some blocks and basically the output of it will go into a Il Mango super smelter so we can have super smelting things and the front of the super smelter will be right here where these chests and stuff are what's gonna happen is that saturday no sunday is stream day saturday saturday is stream day doesn't matter which day it is it's already happened by the time you've seen this video and during that stream i'm gonna make the super smelter so um keep your eyes open for my stream uh twitch tv kma's corner it's up there in the top right of the video screen and um we're gonna work on that and if i have time i'm gonna figure out what i want to do with the floors in these two rooms before um things change all right so i am going to move these chests find a good location for them set up where i want the farm to be exactly because i do kind of want this um centered uh in the center of this wall and um I'm gonna have to do some thoughts and getting that centered but you know this room's gonna be for something initially I was gonna have big supports as this room was gonna be a complete square not closing in up the top there and I was gonna have big supports think of um, Lord of the Rings Mines of Moria you know big huge gigantic stone supports in the middle of the room here but um, my wife thought it would be better if I kind of had the walls coming in like I did in the domed room over there let me show you what I mean real quick in the domed room it all comes in my wife thought that was a cool idea so she thought that you know having the walls coming here would be rather awesome too I don't know if it worked but um, it's gonna make it a little difficult to do this possibly but I got to figure out the basics for it and that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna uh, work on the basics and see what we can get done here and um, like I say there's a uh, reconnect to getting the videos out properly and the right amount of time um, it's gonna start slowing down for me here seasons getting close to being done and I'm gonna have the time to work on it and I'm gonna start streaming again next week so um, yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get this thing a going and I uh, get this room finished maybe in this episode and uh, if not well we'll at least have the super smelter and the uh, kelp farm to give us uh, the product that we need to cook some stuff so I'm gonna get to work and start moving these chests around and stuff and things as you see we started doing things on here uh, I had the stream last night it was just another stream day for mr. craft which was pretty awesome um, we do those a lot uh, you should follow us on uh, Twitter YouTube and so forth so you know when these uh, things happen and also there is now I, uh, mrcraft.net which is a website specifically devoted to mr. craft so if you need to see the latest videos all the videos will be there on mr. craft.net yeah so also everything that you need to know about like stream days and stuff so this is what I got done with a cult farm um, let me get in there I ran actually ran out of sand right at the very end of um, the stream so as you see we got the kelp then we got a layer of pistons and then the observers so when the kelp grows up to the layer of the observers there's redstone behind the pistons and it pushes forward and lets the kelp go so most likely that's gonna happen um, and it's supposed to be six layers tall tall one two three is where we are right now so this thing's gonna be twice as tall as it is right now so basically it's very very easy to do so as underneath the observers are the pistons and behind the pistons you have a layer of blocks and so that's let me show you so you can see so the pistons are in front of this stone block right here and on top of that block you put the thing of uh, redstone that goes into the observers and so when something grows up tall enough it sets the pistons off and it kicks off the kelp so once we get to 
the top layer, the six layers, it keeps expanding backwards. One, be another nine blocks higher. So, you know, up up there, we're gonna get um, gonna have to do a half slab on the water. You know, make an extra row taller, half slab the bottom thing, put a layer of water so it pushes towards the center. Then get rid of the half slabs and that will push the kelp into the center area where we're walking here where the light is and then you can make a channel for it to and there i go again <laughs> the 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 love of having a keyboard where the numbers and letters have been worn off completely and it's a lighted keyboard so you don't know what you are hitting until you hit it so yeah fun i will say so this will um Funnel all the kelp to a certain point, and let me show you where that certain point is. It is where this, that block is right there. And what that will do is the input will go right here to the smelter, and the and the input will go across the top of these uh, furnaces and drop it in there to be cooked. And there'll be an output over here with the chest from the smelters, and then you can make them into um, kelp blocks you know the dark green seaweed looking block and then you could use that as fuel for cooking everything that you need so i'm halfway done through the making of this it's got to go three more layers taller then i get to make the thing into here and then the hard part is going to be making the il mango uh super smelter if you don't know anything about il mango usually his contraptions are a little bit um, more redstone intensive and uh, they can be difficult this is this one isn't too difficult for a ill mango thing but compared to what I normally make it's it's a little bit on the more advanced side I don't usually make things that are advanced I like taking things that are advanced and making them easier um, ill mango though just makes the amazing the amazing things so yeah, as you see, this this thing creates a lot of kelp fast. So I'm gonna get to work and um, get this better. Then we can, when I get the kelp farm set up, I'm gonna put some chests on and then we're gonna start working on the super smelter. All right guys, as you see, one side over here is floating and spitting things down there. Spit, 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 spit. The other side is just not doing that. So we need to fix that. And how do we fix that? All right. We got the kelp down. Then we got one layer of diorite. Then the pistons. Then the observer. Then at the top, we would have add another layer of diorite. But we add one more so we can add this water flow. And this water flow can be kind of tricky. But if you know how to do it, um, it's pretty good. The reason why it's tricky is because you got the stagnant blocks, then you have these this water flow that flows towards the center. Cub fan in his tutorial had uh, the water uh, log blocks right at this level. So this, oops, oops, I'm singing. This is the level that you need it at. Um, and then once we get it done, all right. So it took me um, approximately three, four minutes to cover this up. It's not, it's not that big deal um, to do. And then what we do next, um, because this is a clean palette now, is we are gonna water paint. So, oh, I just saw some water there. I don't know if I should grab the water out of here. Let me sink down and grab one that's not gonna be affected. All right. Eesh. Then we fill up the rest of it like this. And it's pretty simple. And the uh, the easy thing that you gotta do here that makes it a little bit more difficult, you know, I just contradicted myself. The easy thing here that's gonna be a little bit more difficult is to take out these um, blocks. Because if you mess this up, you're gonna have to redo this whole thing. And, um, you don't want to mess this up. I think the hard part was probably placing the water. But once you take this out, we have all those uh, source blocks underneath this. Then this one drainage pipe that leads to the center. So now that we have everything going to the center, what are we going to do with it? We are going to make a water drop system that... Oh, no, no, you're not going to push me off. 
that's going to uh, go this way and end up dropping all the kelp off in one location over there. So let me get these blocks out of here and I'll be right back to show you that. Um, I got this other one working now and they're, they're pushing in the center. You see all my blocks and stuff down in the center. I want to cover this up. I want to make sure um, it looks good because uh, I think we're getting close to maybe saying sayonara. Oh, that's dangerous. Kill it. Kill it with love. Oh. Come on. Oh, you're still alive? Not anymore. I think I want to put some blocks back here like this. Okay, so we don't have to see that. All right, let's get all of these out. Let's try not to hurt ourselves. Oh, God. And I'm going to put a... Yeah, there's lots of stuff out here. Eeks. Hey, 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 hey. I guess... Hey, nice sword. Dude. There you are. Um, yeah, I can't even finish the sentence. All right, so we're going to put a packing on this, obviously, because we don't want all these guys, like, coming over attacking us. That's the bad part about not lighting this thing up properly. I, you can kind of tell how much trouble I had dealing with bad, bad d demons when I was building that dome. But I do want the top of this to be uh, do, 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 cover, cover, um, to be all white, just to go with the thing. Uh, where was that skelly? Yeah, as long as it's not up here. Oh, hey, guy. Hey, I was placing the block there, dude. Oh, let's get rid of a couple more of these guys. And yeah, don't shoot your brother. You just shot your brother. All right. And then on this side, we can cover up to this area. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. And also, I'm going to start working on some decorations for the room. And I'm going to, uh, you know, cover the ceiling up too, like this. Because, uh, you know, we, we want a uh, white backdrop for this whole area. So this is now done. I kind of beautified the top here. I made it all ugly bird poop blocks and as you see when something pops it pops and it goes into this chamber and it follows this to that point down there which I do not want to fall into and there it goes and there it goes bye bye goodbye little kelpies and um yeah this is just my way to get to the top I needed access to this somehow so I I pushed everything back one and gave myself access here so now the uh, product goes into this hopper and this hopper leads across these and it starts dropping the stuff into here let's see um there there's the rest of it I don't know why it's not continually going down but I haven't f finished the um, the ill mango thing yet. I'm gonna work on that. But at the same time, I wanted to show you that I'm gonna do some work with the floor. Let me uh, rise up because I have realized this will be my last video for season two. Season three starts in a couple of weeks with 1.4, so this will be it. But I'm going to do. Uh, the floor here um alternating between the half slabs of the white sand and red sand sandstone and i'm going to change the, the beacon to probably an orange color then i'm going to put the floor in in this other room hide the chest setter over here and call it an episode after we get the old mango thing done and I'm gonna AFK so that ooh, there's plenty of product in this room We need to put the floor in I'm gonna do the same thing. I did over here um, with the water on the edge and Then alternating the different colors and hopefully it won't look too bad. Let's get some more slime for us It's not like I need any more slime, but that's why I'm putting in the floors to stop the, the, the formation of the slimes because slimes are cute and all, but they're really quite annoying when you're building in a place like this. So, 
That's what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna uh, fill in the blocks on the floor um, and do the ill mango thing and the super smelter do I have how many more hoppers yeah I don't even have hoppers behind there to put in the product so yeah I got some work to do and I'm gonna go do that so guys I uh, finished up the kelp farm like I showed you last time and I said I was gonna start doing the floors and I finished the floor with this off pattern you know with the the orange and the the yeah and the orange and the the yeah and it just didn't look right through the whole thing there was just too much of it so I broke it up with this little I don't know moat <laughs> I guess you could call it a moat that protects my storage system stuff well it's not really a storage system it's just a storage area with lots of lights and lights and things and things and stuff and I'm still trying to get it in order as you see I started labeling this because today is the last day of Mr. Craft season two so I wanted to finish up some of the the things I didn't finish up um, before I left also I'm gonna have to put some um, a couple of more blocks in here um, to fill up everything uh, and as you see I'm missing a couple of things because of torches there's a redstone line above that so I can't really put anything above there so this is open there's redstone over there no, I just ran out of wood, so I gotta go get some wood. I gotta get a couple more pieces of terracotta, so I can fill in those, I can fill in this little area, and it's done. Unfortunately, I can't hurt that. I mean, I could put, like, um, these ch chests up there. You guys, shush, 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 you've been loud over here. Uh, and then I gotta cover in that area. Um, this is all done, though. Yeah, I don't know why just these and when i first started this up the whole thing like it um filled up with stuff and i think what it is is just because these are running they're running so this thing when it when it goes the whole thing's actually open it's just there was product in it when i turned it on and stuff and it just kind of messed with it a little bit but once that stuff is cooked and then we get more product in it will be all fine so also i um did the glass the thing over here with the floor and I got rid of this thing in the center that had um, Vold's gifts and I had the chest all around here and I had chests over here um, and I just moved it all over into the other area is there anything in here that's worthy no okay so I am just gonna do a couple of things to call this season completely finny um basically what i gotta do is just go through this and um so you see most of the chests are empty uh i'm just gonna go through it and throw the stuff over here where is yeah i got plenty of stone space for stone okay and once i'm done with that i'm just gonna go get uh a, see if i have any of these blocks i'm missing and all i need to do is three of those and one terracotta and I think I'm missing a red terracotta block up there yeah I'm missing a red terracotta right there which I gotta throw in there but with that said this season is all but done season three starts soon and um, I'm looking forward to season three there's some changes with uh, the group here uh, we're a little bit more focused and a lot less random so um it will be fun it will be a lot of fun so uh, i guess this is goodbye to season two there will be a world download for it i wish i could have done a uh, world tour but i will promise i will do one for you at the end of season three um, this season was kind of like a flop but we're all focused and you know uh did the things that we kind of made the mistake of uh for next season so i'm um, i'll see you guys next week who actually the videos will be coming out weekly again and um i'm getting back into creative content and all that so like i've said probably in the past and i will say it probably in the future if you want to see more of the content please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell Follow me on Twitter and all those things. It's all KMA's Corner. You want to find me, just 
look it up KMA's Corner and I will talk to you guys later I'll see you in next season goodbye